welcome back to actually mine and in today's video we have one more query from our user and we'll be solving that so here is the query a user has demanded that under the google sheet we need an automation where whenever the cell value under the c section to under their section that they are having a stock in hand whenever the stock went zero and emails should automatically send to the recipient email id uh, authorizer email id so that they come to know whether which of the stock has gone to zero so this is the file which we have created a dummy for our user so let's see how it's work so you can see over here we have a stock in hand and we have a stock name as well so let's change this number to zero and see what happens over here so whenever we are changing the number you can see an automation has been taken place and under the reminder email reminder it has been written sent so let's see whether the email has been sent or not so over here yes we have got so you can see we have got an email uh, mentioning that the stock went zero for two of the product so let's see which are the product so you can see and uh, this two products stock is currently so in just zero so so both the name has been mentioned under the email and the subject line is stock count went to zero so if you're changing one more stock let's see whether that name has been uh that name get added or not so we'll change win cell to zero and we'll wait for the automation to work now it's done you can see it has been written sent so let's move on to our email and check whether the email has been sent or not so here we go and email has been received stating all the three name of the stock so this is how it's work and so let's see far from where this query has came so a few days back we have uploaded one video on our channel about an excel vba and you can go and check under the link uh, you can see up on the top right hand side it has been mentioned the link you can check that so under that we have written a vba code for the excel where uh, whenever the stock gets zero email is getting sent to the user so uh, from that we have got a couple of the user have raised the query how we can do that under the google sheet so here we are with the google sheet editor as well so how you can do that so let's see so for that you have to go on to the google account and create a sheet you can name it with anything and then go on to the extension click on the app script the moment you click on the app script it will ask you for the access grant the access and you will see a code page so here is the page and you have to click on the second option editor click on that then under the code just whatever there is uh, you just have to clear the code if there is something and just paste the code you can get this code from our description link we have added the code link under the video description section so you can directly copy that code and paste it over here and the thing which you need to change will let you know over here we have already written where you can do the changes if you you can see the first part is the c1 whenever the stock under the c section goes zero so if you have a d cell or a b or a you just have to make the changes under the third line see over here we have also written over here replace c with the range of your column and then the email side where the sent word will be written is under the e so you can change it from whatever you want under the e then we have our email id so we have a uh, request an email to be sent under the excel mind web, uh, email id so you can change this to whatever you want then this will be your subject and this is the totally text whatever you want you can write it over here and then the next part comes under the message so under message we have two things the first one is the text which will be the common of the first one like stock went zero four 
now this is a common word so we have written that and we have added the another one with the i2 now what we get let's see so this is what we get on the stock when zero four and then you get the stock name whatever stock is under zero so we have given this to get the cell value from i2 so let's see what we have written under the i2 so uh, we have make it hidden so we'll just unhide this see yo whenever anything goes zero it's get added over here with the text joins formula so whatever is written over here it's get added with this line stock went zero four and then the value of the i2 so you can change this with whatever you have we okay we have written over here the instruction replace i2 with the cell you want to include in the email body so this is how your script runs so if once you add it so once you added this code under the course section the next part which you have to do is to do some settings so why the setting is needed is because this code should run whenever there is an edit whenever that we do some edit over here like we are editing our c to adding a zero right changing the number this is an edit so we have to uh, give a command that whenever we do add it run this code so what you have to do is just from the left hand side go go on to the third one figure option click on that and then you will see this page and your code will be here or if there is nothing just go on to the add trigger click on the add trigger we have already written so we are doing this and from the first choose which function to run select the send email function before uh, now this function is the name of the code we'll show you uh, once we close this okay so select this send email and uh, then the second part is select event source so event source will be from spreadsheet and select event type will be on edit and once you do all these changes just click on the save button and it's done you will see something like this okay uh, your trigger will be added over here and then if you want you can check your code by clicking on the run button so here you can see the function name is send email which we have selected under the trigger email okay so this is how it will work so the code you know from where you uh, you will get the code you will get the code from the description link okay so let's see how this is working how we are getting the name in a single line whatever the stock is getting zero okay so we have here included the two formulas okay so the two formulas is the first formula is the if formula and the second one is the text join formula the first formula what the first formula do here it finds when the c is zero you can see if c is equal to zero then we need the a2 value or the blank and for the blank we have just added the double inverted comma twice okay so this is how whenever there's something zero over here it gives us the result as a2 value and if it's not zero or more than zero you can say then it gives us the blank and here we have added the text join for all this formula cell so we are joining the text with the comma you can see text join then we have used the one for ignoring the empty cells and all the range from h2 to h10 so if we remove this one you will you will see ignore empty if you are removing this then we are getting all the empty cells like with the blank so that's why this one is more important because we need to ignore the blanks and this is done and then we have just hidden this the part and your file is ready now whenever your stop goes to zero 
it will send an email the important part is over here the moment you change this stock back to refilled or you have refilled this stock you have to remove this sent by deleting this because uh, if the code finds that it's written sent over here it will ignore that that's the important part because this is much needed if we are ignoring this sent uh, code then what google sheet will do whenever you do the edit or whenever you make any changes it will again and again read that this stock went zero and again again it will send an email so this code says if there is a sent over here then you don't need to resend the email because it has already been sent so it will work only once so whenever you refill this stock or whenever you changing the number just delete this item and it will work fine so let's do it once again let's make it zero again and we are hitting the enter and you will see a sent has been returned over here here we go we got the email again and the email is stock went to zero for this stock so i hope you have liked our video and specifically we have created this video into the english language because the user requested this to be in the this language only because you have some queries you can comment on our video and or you can send an email to us and we will definitely come up with the solution in a very easy way so thank you for watching